guys would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, go over to ringsidecollectibles.com and pre-order Andrade C and Almas or order all of Elite Series 71 using the promo code MDTOYS. They also have a hell of a sale going on right now, which is a parody on the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view coming forward, and it is going to be a very epic sale where you can pick up tons of custom fodder and other things for your collection. What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure review, but it's not two-in-one this time. It is three-in-one. We have the last two figures from Elite 71 and John Cena and Nikki Bella, and we're going to take a closer look at the NXT Elite Andrade C and Almas that got dropped, that got whatever, and then it came back, and now it's at ringside, and you can go grab it using MD Toys if you want to grab it. It's on their website, I do believe, up for pre-order. Seriously, if you want to pre-order this thing, guys, go over to Ringside Collectibles right now. Use the promo code MDTOYS you can save 10% and you can grab this. But seriously, I thought that, you know, since nobody gives a shit about my reviews, I might as well post up the rest of them today and get the rest of this set knocked out. Rank Elite Series 71, we will be doing that in this video. Andrade will be left out. But yeah, since nobody wants to watch my reviews, I'm just going to plug in the last one today and then we'll be done with the set. And I guess we can do some surgery tomorrow and that will be the way we do it. So taking a closer look at John Cena, Andrade, and Nikki Bella. Guys, what we're going to do is, I guess, knock out Nikki Bella and John Cena first. Then we will come back and take a closer look at Andrade. Then we will rank Elite Series 71, but my God, look, I mean, are we, look, are we looking at this? Three figures to get through. This is going to be a very long process. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and crack all three of these hoes out of their packaging. Psych, before we do that, let's go ahead and look at Andrade right here. You guys can kind of see what we got going on. Uh, front viewing window, he looks fantastic. You got Andrade seeing almost in NXT TakeOver, NXT TakeOver over here. A picture of Andrade, a picture of Andrade. On the back, you have a little bio read. If you'd like to read it, you can pause it right now. You also have some other stuff about Andrade like a big old picture of him that they used on the side. So there's three images of the same guy in the same spot on the packaging. But there is Andrade C and Almas. As far as John Cena and Nikki Bella go, guys, it's the same elite packaging. You have a picture on one side. You have their name on the other side. On the back, we have little bio reads. If you want to read it, you can go ahead and pause it now. You have the rest of the figures in the way. Farts in a bag, poopity pop. And now that we've got all three of them done talking about their packaging, let's go ahead and crack them all out of their packaging. All right, guys, so here's Nikki Bella, seeing Almas, and John Cena out of their packaging. Looking pretty freaking swell, I might say. All of them got their accessories going. We all look good here in the middle. I think the way we should do things is just knock out their accessories all at once, knock out their figures all at once, and then knock out their comparisons all at once. So what we're going to do is we're going to cover Nikki Bella's accessories, Andrade C and Almas' accessories, and then John Cena's accessories. We'll come back and look at Nikki Bella, Andrade, and then John Cena, and then we'll do the same thing for the comparisons. Then we will rank Elite Series 71. That way it can kind of flow better and kind of get things going. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Nikki Bella's accessories and we will move on from there. So for Nikki Bella's accessories, guys, she just comes with two. And the first one is this cloth shirt, which I do appreciate that it is cloth. And it says, do more, fear less. And it does rip open in the front. So this is the front of the shirt and it is in Velcro, as you can see. And I think this is because isn't her entrance shirt like this? Like she comes out and she rips it open from the front. I think that is why they did this. Pretty cool how they can put the graphics over the Velcro. I wonder why they don't do that for the back on the men's t-shirts. Now that I know they can do it for the front for this Nikki Bella shirt, why can't they do this for all of the shirts? Like, put all the graphics on there, and then it can just rip in half of the Velcro. That would be freaking excellent. Maybe we're working towards that. Is this is this a breakthrough? But there's that cloth shirt you get. It looks like it's that same material as the Big Show shirt, or at least it kind of looks that way. I'm not sure. But then we have the Go Fearless hat, which she wears backwards, and I don't think it's supposed to be like this curved deal. It's supposed to be like a flat bill, but you know, it is what it is. It's not a big deal. You got a small little graphic right here, and yeah, just regular old Nikki Bella hat. And that is pretty much it, guys. We've seen both of these molds before. Nothing too crazy besides the uh, the logos on the front here over the Velcro. I think that's fantastic. So now that we've covered Nikki Bella's accessories, guys, let's move on to Andrade C. and Almas' accessories. So for Andrade C. and Almas, guys, his accessories are very, very plain. You have a white fedora that he used to wear. I don't think he wears the fedora anymore. He just wears the entrance shirt. But here is Andrade C. and Almas, and you just kind of port that onto his head there. Or is that backwards? I, I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, you, you have this little lip side first, so it fits the ha it fits the figure well. I like the way that it looks on the figure, and uh, I think the white fedora looks pretty fancy schmancy, if I do say so myself. So there's his white fedora, and then he also comes with the NXT Championship, and this looks great. Uh, the the new NXT title. Do you guys prefer the newer mold or the older mold? You guys, I, I'm talking about the Finn Balor NXT title, or do you like this the C and Almas and you know the newer style NXT Championship? Let me know down in the comment section below. But we do get a nicer one of these, and I'm 
happy to add another one of these to the collection. But that does it for seeing all my accessories, guys. Now let's dive into John Cena's accessories. So for John Cena's accessories, guys, I mean, we've seen these probably 652 times. You have his regular old dog tags that he literally wears all the time, or he always has these underneath his shirt. This has literally came with every John Cena figure, I think, since the dawn of time. You have your dog tags. You also have your You Can't See Me hands, which they started giving him with the Elite 64 figure. And this is basically the exact same Elite 64 figure, except it has a newer head sculpt, and this is Elite Series 71. So this is seven series later, we got the same figure with a different head sculpt, but I do love that they give him You Can't See Me hands. And then we have his green t-shirt that we've seen with that same Elite 64. It looks the exact same. It, it seems to be the exact same t-shirt. You got the respect on there, and it doesn't have the graphic on the back. I believe this shirt, all his shirts have a shirt graphic on the back, so they could have done that Velcro thing. I think that would be awesome if they would continue putting a full logo on the back over the Velcro. But not only that, you do get his signature hat, and this one is a little bit weird, guys, because since he got a new head mold, will the hat fit the figure? And I can already tell you that no, Brad, it will absolutely not fit the figure, not even close. It's not even a snug fit. Like, if you were to, like, try and force this onto his head, it gets all warped, and it looks terrible, and it won't stay on, and it's just like, I, I've done my best, and you keep seeing it pop up there. So, it will not fit the John Cena head sculpt, but it is a nice hat. If you want to throw this on your Elite 64, or you want to make a different John Cena attire, maybe acetone the logos off, I'm not sure what you want to do, but nonetheless, this hat does not fit the John Cena figure, but that does it for all of John Cena's accessories, guys. So, now that we have covered all of his accessories, let's dive into Nikki Bella herself. So, getting into Nikki Bella herself, guys, I think that the resemblance is pretty there. I think it does look like Nikki Bella. It may be a tad bit off, but I mean, I, mean, I think for the most part, the true effects really takes over. I think it looks like her. You got the long hair going down. You got Bella Lucian on the front. It's like a black and red camo going on on this. You got the painted on strings tied to her shirt there. On the back, it says Bella Army with a little logo there and the Zero Two. You have the camo pattern going on. I, think, I really like the camo pattern. I think it looks really well. It's really nicely painted. You also have uh, her ab crunch. You got her belly button there. Her, uh, her bottoms are here. The only thing they don't have on here is the fishnets going down. There's supposed to be fishnets on these legs. I'm pretty sure that cover her thighs. And then she has the socks going down that say Fearless. They say Nikki Bella. They say, oh, they just say Nikki. They say Nikki over here and Fearless over here. And then she's got her Jordan 1s that she always wears or her Nike high tops that she always wears. And she has her Fearless on there on the back. It has a small detail, and that also says Fearless. So on the back it says Fearless. On the toe box it says Fearless. And uh, Nikki Bella's looking pretty good, man. Not a, not a bad figure at all. You know, I'm not big on the women's figures because they don't stand well and everything, but this one seems to do okay. And the, uh, you know, this is the last series that we're ever going to have single-jointed knees. Moving forward, we will always have double-jointed knees for our women's figures, so that's a really big step there. She's also missing her black nail polish. That's just something to point out. And that does it for Nikki Bella, guys. So now that we've covered Nikki Bella, let's move on to Andre. Andrade Cien Almas. So getting into Andrade Cien Almas, guys, I really like this head sculpt. I love the ponytail with the shaved on the sides. I really do like this. One thing I will say is I wish that this was faded and not so dark, but I do like it. I like the beard they got going on. I like the likeness that they got going on with the face. I love that they went with the Sin Cara torso. I think this is a perfect body mold for Cien Almas. I just really like this body mold. They also gave him Sin Cara shoulders, arms, and hands, so I, I can appreciate that. They gave him white wrist tape. I just think this body mold works for so many guys. I wish they would give this to AJ Styles or somebody and paint it in the, you know, in the lighter skin tone, have it with his tattoo. Uh, G Natty's done a few customs like that. It just looks so much better than what they give us for AJ. You have his white crotch just going down. You have his white pants. You have, you have the black fists on the knee pads going down. That's the only decal work you get on here. You have white boots, and it's just regular white tights, man, so I love it. You guys know it's my favorite color, so I really enjoy the white tights all the way down. The C and Almas figure feels really good in the hand like Sin Cara's figures always did. I feel like this guy will pose really well, and I'm really excited to finally have an official Andrade Cien Almas. I have my custom that we'll compare it to in the comparisons portion, but I still think this is fantastic. I think it looks much better and it feels great and I cannot wait to use this thing down the line in videos and things of that nature. But now that we've covered Cien Almas, guys, let's move on to John Cena. So taking a closer look at my boy John Cena, guys, you will see here we do have that brand new head sculpt and he kind of looks like JBL from back in the day in the mid-2000s. I mean, my God, I really do like the sculpt though. I think they used a very similar face that they used on the basic 100 John Cena. I really do like this though. I like 
like the finish they got going on. The skin tone looks nice. All of the lightness is totally there for Cena. Again, it does suck that the hat will not go on that figure. It's just not going to go on. It's not unless you shave off the hair. But then you're ruining the perfectly good John Cena sculpt that we just got. I don't know if I'll ever use this head sculpt. It will go on the shelf. I probably will make his Australia attire, you know, in the Super Showdown attire in this uh, with this head sculpt maybe or something. I don't know. But I got to put it on the timeline. It looks great. It looks fantastic. You have a solid blue belt going all the way around with his jorts. I love the jorts color they got going on right here. Black knee pads that we've seen a hundred times. Same torso. We've seen these green armbands before. And we have the same John Cena shoes. So the, literally the only thing that's new about this figure is the head sculpt. And I like it. I think they did do a great job. And if you missed out on Elite Series 64, you might as well grab this one. I mean, whatever. I'm sure everybody has a, a basic Cena laying around that you can pop the head skin onto your Elite 64 or something. And you could use this head sculpt for something too. But that pretty much does it for John Cena, guys. Now that we've done that, let's get into some Nikki Bella Elite figure comparisons. All right, guys, so for Nikki Bella comparisons, I tried to find my Elite 68 Brie Bella, but I cannot find it for this portion of the video. I literally, I keep them all on this one shelf, and I don't know if she fell or she farted in a bag and smelt it. I don't know what the hell went on, but I cannot find it, and now I, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to spend some time to find that. But anyways, here is my Nikki Bella Battle Pack. I can only find my Brie Bella Battle Pack that went with this figure, so I'm still waiting to find that Elite 68. I find that, then maybe I can, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, I really don't. I don't care that much. But anyways, guys, this is pretty much it. You guys can see clearly the new figure has much more likeness to Nikki Bella. It looks a lot better. Even though I like this attire better with the white, I still like this figure, and I love the camo they got going on with it. But anyways, that does it for your Nikki Bella comparisons, guys. Let's move on to Andrade C. and Almas. So here is our Andrade C. and Almas comparison, guys, and just look at it. I mean, did I not use the exact same formula except for the arms? These arms are from a Chavo Guerrero, I think, but the hands are Sin Cara. But here is the tights. It's a white Sin Cara for the torso, a basic Andrade for the head sculpt, and you guys can just kind of see, you got then, you got now, and it's pretty cool. I mean, that's obviously, uh, you know, they, they have the Sin Cara logos on it, but I think the gold ties into it, even though he didn't wear an attire like that. I still think it's pretty cool. No knee pads on there, but solid white boots as well, and it's pretty cool to have like a flashback Cien Almas and a current day Cien Almas, so that's pretty rad, and maybe we'll get another Cien Almas in the future in the main elite line, and we can do something with that, but this is pretty much it, guys. I mean, you can just kind of see what we got going on. This was completely made from parts laying around in a CN Almas basic, and then this was obviously right out of the packaging from the NXT Elite, and I really like it. I love this one. It looks fantastic, and I'm super excited for it. So for John Cena's Elite comparison, guys, I pretty much just got down my Elite Series 64, and you guys can see it's basically the exact same figure, except the head sculpt is different, and I do say that this has much more likeness to John Cena. That head sculpt has been being used for like 10, 15 series now, and I'm sick of it. I'm very glad to get a new head like this. I would like to see maybe a straight face or a pissed off expression for, uh, you know, with the likeness of this and with his haircut, you know, the way it's supposed to be, not, you know, this JBL looking haircut, but I can't appreciate it. I do like the way it came out, and uh, this, this head sculpt's much better than this. I can't stand this head, so that is a definite improvement, and I can't appreciate that, but that pretty much does it for our John Cena Elite figure comparisons, guys. So now that we have done that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and rank Elite Series 71 from worst to best. All right, guys, it is time to rank Elite Series 71 from worst to best in my own personal opinion. You know, I base this on, you know, new molds and new things and overall figures, things of that nature. I try to add it all up and try to figure out which, in my personal opinion, is the best figure out of the entire set. All right, guys, so we're starting out at number six. Now, for number six, it was very difficult because, you know, I was, it was very back and forth. It was very toss up here. For number six, guys, I am going with Nikki Bella just because, you know, the single jointed arms and knees are just so bad. I know that every man figure has single jointed arms, so it's mainly the knees here. It's just very difficult to pose the women around. They're hard to stand up and everything, and I don't know. I'm just not big on the women, so they're just so terrible. I think this is going to change with Elite Series 72, though, just because I think that with the addition of the double-jointed knees for all the figures, and I think it's going to add some much-needed stability, and we're going to find out with that Elite Series 72 Becky Lynch, but we will not know until that set comes out. But for me, personally, Nikki Bella does come in at number six. So for number five, guys, it shouldn't be too, too hard, and I hate to do this, but I got to go with my boy John Cena. You know, uh, the only thing that lifted it over Nikki Bella is this very nice head skin that I think really does look very much like John Cena. I really do like it. I think that from the neck down, it's still a really strong figure, even though it is, you know, reused from everything. That Nikki Bella figure is pretty much the same, except it has a new head sculpt just like this, but I think this one is stronger. But this does get some points deducted because the hat will not go on. There, There's no way to put this on, but at the same time, it's like, is that Mattel's fault? I mean, what are they supposed to do? Make 
give him real hair, you know? So I can see both sides of the fence. But for me personally, I had to put John Cena at number five, and I couldn't put my boy at number six anyways, right? I mean, he's my favorite of all time. He's the GOAT. Can't put him at number six, and I still think the figure alone can still outlast the Nikki Bella, so I did put it at number five. Things starting to get real interesting now, Brad, as we enter the number four ranking, and the number four ranking is going to go to Big Show. While I think this figure is fantastic and everything, I just wasn't that excited for it the way I was for the other ones. I think that, you know, standing alone, this figure is really strong. I love the claw t-shirt. I love that we get the WWF Championship, and I love the head sculpt, but for me personally, I wasn't just, I just wasn't excited for it. I just think overall, it comes in at number four. While it's a very strong figure, you know, I don't think it's a bad figure by any means. I just think that it's not as good as the others. You do get the claw shirt again. You get the championship. You get the werewolf hands, and it's just a great figure, so I do like this one a lot, and if you guys missed the review on this one, you definitely need to go check it out with Drew McIntyre. So coming in at number three for me, guys, is Drew McIntyre. I really do like this figure a lot. I love that, you know, they fixed the problems that it had with the first one besides the little neck thing here. They gave him the new boots. They updated the attire. They gave him the entrance code again. If you missed out on that NXT Elite, this is a really great way to pick it up. I love the body choice mold they went with. I love the hair in the face. I love the pissed off face he's got going on. It's just a really strong figure overall. I really do like it. And I'm a personal fan of Drew McIntyre, so that probably helped it out a lot as well. But I do really enjoy this figure, and I think it's great. I think that people are going to like this one a lot, and it's going to be one of the stronger figures in the set. So Drew McIntyre comes in at number three. Now here's where the money's being made, guys. Right here at the number two and one spot, who will it come down to? Overall, guys, I think I'm going to go with number two, Jeff Hardy. I'm going to go Jeff Hardy number two and Adam Cole number one. Now, this was very, very difficult for me because we got the towel here. You get three interchangeable heads. I love the pink colorway, but overall, you know, with this Adam Cole, you get a cloth t-shirt. You get the North American Championship, which is a first time in the line. You get Undisputed Era signature hands, and you get Adam Cole Bebe signature hands, as well as a screaming expression. The only thing that deducts this figure is the large knee pads, which, again, are accurate so I can't deduct total points and then the small legs which again I really can't deduct points because I prefer something different so you know I cannot deduct points for it that way that that brings him up to number one and Jeff Hardy is number two but they were very very close I love both of these so much I think it's a really strong set and now it's time to do some surgery on these hoes so I'm ready to get into that but now we are ready to wrap up this three in one action figure review on the brand new Elite Series 71 set Nikki Bella Cianomis and John Cena but that pretty much does it for this three in one action figure review guys on Nikki Bella, Cian Almas, and John Cena. Again, if you would like to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video, guys, you can pre-order Andrade Cian Almas over on Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You can also grab the rest of this set. I literally picked up two of these sets because I like them so much, so I will be having those on the way. We are going to do some surgery either tomorrow or the next day, so be on the lookout for surgery. Be on the lookout for MDT Live 14 still in the works. I know it's been freaking, it's just driving me nuts, man. Just freaking life and everything just getting in the way, but we're going to get it done, and it's going to be epic and we're going to get on our way to Hell's Gate, get the stage finished, get the arena tour, get the farts in the bag. You know, it's a slow grind, but we're going to get there. But I love you guys. Thank you so very much for watching. If you guys missed out on any of the Elite Series 71 reviews, please go check those out. I highly recommend seeing almost when it finally drops. Definitely go pre-order that at Ringside Collectibles. The rest of the set is fire. I'm really happy with all of the figures we got and I'm super excited for the rest of those to come in with our second set. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.